We're here because of what happened yesterday. No one's allowed to touch you like that. Hi, how are you? Hi, uh, I'm Dr. Nelson. It's Claire, is it? Yes, how are you? You're Hi, very welcome. Hi there. Hi guys, I'm Dr. Nelson. What's your name? Siobhan. Siobhan. How are you, Siobhan? And you're? Patrick. Hi, Patrick. How are you? Patrick, yeah. Nice, nice to see you. You've come a long way, have you? Oh, not too far. Not, not too far. far. And did your mum get lost getting here? <laughs> are you the driver with you, did you? You're a Garda. Oh, Garda Murphy, how are you? You're very welcome. Um, what I'm going to do now, guys, um, I appreciate this is all very strange for you. I'm going to borrow your mum, if that's okay, and we're going to go next door and have a, a, a chat. And Neve's going to stay with you and look after you for a minute. And then when I finish talking to your mum, I'm going to bring you through next door and show you around. Is that okay? I'll borrow you, Claire, can I? And we'll, we'll move yeah, next door. And Neve will stay there with you. We'll just have a chat with Gordon Murphy. Thanks. Come on and have a seat. Now, Claire, um, the first thing I need to do is get your consent for this uh, process, the uh, history and examination. Okay. I have a consent form here, which I'll go through with you, but I'll explain to you what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to examine the children from top to toe after I've taken a history. Uh, and when I say top to toe, I'm going to look in their ears and in their mouth and listen to their chest and look at their tummy and then look at their bottom. Can I be in there with them? Oh, absolutely. We, we'd want you to assist oh. with the whole process and make them feel comfortable. When it comes to the examination of the bottom, I'll be taking photographs. Photographs? Yes. The reason for taking the photographs is primarily so that the children won't have to be examined a second or a third time. If there's a finding, then it will be recorded, and that can be used as evidence in court. Or if there's a, a medical reason for follow-up, then we have the photos to compare with. And do I get the photographs? No, the photographs will be stored here and they'll be stored with the medical notes and they'll be locked away securely in a filing cabinet. Now, the kids can't be identified from the photographs. There's no names, there's no faces, there's a number assigned to each child uh, and they can't be identified. So it won't mean anything to anybody else other than me or another expert. And the only person who will get those photographs is on the direction of a judge through approach to me. So that would normally be a, another medical expert who's either giving a second opinion or challenging something that I have to say. Are you comfortable with that? And uh, do you tell me if you find anything? I will tell you what has happened and what we find and we'll sit down at the end of the examination and do that. Okay. okay. Do you want to have a read through this and make sure you're comfortable yeah. with the wording of that? So if you write your name and address there and... Uh, Forensic specimens, how do I get the results of that? The results will go to Garda Murphy or her team. They won't come to me, so you'll need to link in with Angarda Shikana for, for that. Now, in terms of forensic sampling, Siobhan has most recently been assaulted, as I understand, within yeah. the past 24 hours. Yeah. Uh, and so she will have DNA swabs taken, forensic samples. But uh, Patrick hasn't had contact with this man for over a week. No. So we don't need to do forensic sampling on Patrick because DNA doesn't last for longer than a week. So Siobhan's examination will take a little bit longer and Garda Murphy will be there. She'll be stationed behind a screen so she can't see the actual examination, but she needs to be there to receive the forensic samples. Okay. Okay, if you're happy enough. Yes. Could you sign? Now, Claire, I need to know a little bit about what happened first of all. Uh, I know you've been through this b with the guards before. Do you want to tell me yourself or do you want Garda Murphy to run through the, um, the statement? Can with you do me? that? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's great. Claire told me that Siobhan came to her last Wednesday and said that she had been touched by... Claire, there's just one final thing that you might have been wondering uh, and I wanted to stress that the examination of a pre-pubertal child before they go through puberty doesn't involve an internal examination. There's no scopes and there's no speculum. So that's maybe a relief to that's you. That's great to know. Yeah. I suggest I move to take a, a formal medical history now and you might want to go and get the kids there, fine to listen oh, yes. to all of yeah, that right. and uh, they can play with the toys while we talk. Okay, Do you want Thank to go you. and get them? Yeah. Yeah. Hi guys, come on in. 
Go on over and have a look at the toys there. You need to play with the toys. So Claire, I need to take some details about Siobhan's medical history to start with. Can you tell me about the pregnancy and her birth? Where uh, was she born? She was born here in Galway. Okay. She had normal pregnancy. Mum, I don't want to talk about what happened. Oh, Patrick, you don't have to talk about what happened. Um, you're going to get a chance to talk to one of the special guards about this. That won't be today, that'll, that'll be another day. And uh, if you want to tell me what happened today, that's fine. If you don't, you don't need to talk about it. So I wouldn't worry, okay? Do you want to go back and uh, play with the toys? We're, we're nearly finished here. We're going to take some uh, details. Okay, so... Um, so this is the examination couch and this is my special camera which means I can see all the cuts and bruises that you have. So we'll turn it on and can you see, can you see my birthday cake on the screen? Isn't that cool? Do you see that? And do you want to put your finger on? We'll see how dirty your fingernails are. Oh look, we've got your fingernails there, my goodness. Look, we can see everything. Isn't that great? This doesn't touch the kids, okay? It's at that distance and it means we can see all the cuts and bruises and wrinkly bits and hairs on the uh, skin and all that goes with it. Nothing scary. Any questions, guys? Are you happy enough? I'll show you the forensic path then. Can I get you to come and pop a pair of gloves on? And we're going to open you, this and show you what's inside. Yeah. Okay. So that's expiry date. Towards the end of this year. And there's all sorts of things inside this. Things in here. Yeah, some of them we use and some of them we don't. There's some swabs. And there's nothing very exciting about those. They just tickle your skin while I show you. Look. Goes over your skin. That doesn't hurt, does it? No? So we're going to, uh, that's the most that I'm going to do. We've got combs in here. We're going to comb your hair. You see? And um, that's about it. So I'm going to keep these here and then I'm going to hand them to Garda Murphy when I've finished. Any questions, guys? Yeah. Clara, are you all right with this? Yes, yeah. that's fine. Okay. And during the examination, I want you to sit in, in this chair. That's fine. Uh, so your mum is going to sit beside you the whole time. Is that okay? Yeah. I'm going to start by looking in your ears and then I'm going to look in your mouth and listen to your chest, feel your tummy. I'm going to have a quick look at your bottom and then we'll get you dressed and that's you done. Okay? Yeah. Who are we going to start with? I think it's Siobhan, is it? we we'll start with you? Okay. Yeah. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look in your ears and then I'm going to look in your mouth and listen to your chest. And to do that I need you to take your t-shirt off, okay? I'm going to look at your body for any bruises or sore bits and then you're going to put the top back on again. And then we're going to look at your bottom. And to do that best, I need you to get into three different positions, okay? So we'll practice those positions first of all. I need you to lie on your back. So we'll move this out of the way so that we can get a clear view of what we're up to. Can you wriggle down in the bed a little bit? That's great. And that's number one position. That's okay, isn't it? Okay. And then the next bit, Claire, is to get her over onto her tummy. So I need you over onto your tummy and we'll bring the pillow all the way down and you lean over the pillow. Siobhan, that's a great girl. Now, I need you to come back a little bit towards me. Good girl. And up on your hands and knees and open the legs a little bit and come, come back. Okay. And put your chest right down onto the pillow. How's that? Good. Are you with us? Yeah. Great girl. Okay, and then the last position is over looking at your mummy on your side. That's a good girl. So you curl up into a ball. Great girl. 
and that's it done. And when we finish that, that's you finished. You can get up and get dressed and uh, go and have another hot chocolate. Does that sound good? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Zoe. Bye. Take care.